Hello, this is Anirdesh and our team is taking up a problem that is preventing accidents caused due to the dangerous platform gaps while onboarding and deboarding Indian trains. And our team consists of Tarun, me, Anirdesh and Avinash. The Indian Railways provides the most important mode of public transport in India. This is the most commonly used and most cost effective long distance transport system of the country. The Indian Railways is operated by the Ministry of Railways of India and is slowly trying to progress into the private, private sector. The Indian Railways is touching lives of almost every person across India covering 28 states and 8 union territories with a network covering over 64,460 kilometers of the country as of 2011. This network is being expanded to this day as more tracks and rails are being built. The Indian Railways is also the fourth largest railways in the world, which transports around 765.1 crores of passengers and over 921 metric tons of freight per annum. This is also according to the 2011 statistics. But this keeps on increasing every year due to technological advancements being made in the railway sector. Economic investments are also still made to make the railways more comfortable and time efficient. The proof of concept of this is shown by the Indian government's efforts in introducing the Vande Bharat trains in more areas, collaborating with Japan to introduce bullet trains and many more other trains. But the statistics of accidents that have taken place till now are truly appalling. More than 13,000 train accidents across the country have killed nearly 12,000 railway passengers last year, according to a recent report by the National Crime Records Bureau, also known as the NCRB. The latest statistics mean that on an average, 32 people lose their lives, lost their lives rather, every day in 2020. These accidents are because of derailing of trains, people falling off the trains, or coming in the way of trains and many more. One of the main reasons for this is our problem statement, which acts, which is basically accidents being caused due to the platform gaps and height between the platform and the railway coaches. One of the most recent instances of this type of accident happening was in December of 2022, where a 20 year old woman got stuck between the platform gap and passed away later in a hospital after succumbing to fatal injuries caused due to this. The daunting gap between the platform and the train on various platforms in Indian railway stations pose a massive risk to passengers who board trains and disembark them. Though renovations of platforms are done at these stations, some remodeled platforms and trains don't align well and thus are not compatible. People find it difficult to step out of the train or board the coach with luggage. To understand the prop problem perfectly, let us first define a platform gap. A, part, a platform gap is a space between a train coach and the edge of the station platform, often created by geometric constraints, historic legacies or the use of partially compatible equipment. Many high quality rapid transit systems also use high platforms at station stops to allow fast and efficient level boarding and alighting, but potentially leaving hazardous gaps between the platforms and the train coaches. The ideal platform would be straight and aligned perfectly with a train or any other large vehicle. Even in this case, a small gap between the conveyances and the platform is necessary to allow the vehicles to move freely without causing friction with the platform edge. But this straight platform is not realistically possible due to the various geographical and landscape constraints. In such situations, stations are often constrained also by legacy designs and track geometry. Stations may have to use a compromise design with a platform curved in a way that will allow a train to move without mechanical interference, but leaves an unavoidable horizontal and possibly vertical gaps between the coaches and the platform edge. These spaces are caused by the geometric gap between a curve or rather a circular arc and the straight line tangent formed by the coach in proximity to the platform. These types of gaps are generally geometrically intrinsic and cannot be eliminated as long as the platform is located on a curved segment of a track. 
when coach doors are located only at the ends of each car platform access from a concave platform is preferred since this brings the coach ends in closest proximity to the platform edge however a convex platform would leave the largest possible gaps between the car ends and the platform edge making this design undesirable and hence not implemented as often as you can see on the image on the right it is an example of a concave platform which is the most preferred platform type the image on the bottom depicts both the vertical and the horizontal gaps created one of the main reasons is being that the different trains or other different coaches of various trains come at different areas of the platform either the platforms are unevenly built or the coach doesn't match the height passengers struggle to on board the train as there was a gap of more than a foot between the door of the train and the platform passengers especially senior citizens had trouble getting down with luggage as there was a risk of them falling into the gap tarun who usually carries a lot of luggage when he travels struggled to on board the train during the peak time of crowding in the platforms of the tambaram station tarun has taken these photos demonstrating the difference in the gap sizes at the mgr station in chennai where the left image shows the gap between the chennai suburban train and the platform while the right image is the gap between the sarkar express coach and the platform this video further accentuates the point of the gap between the sarkar express coach and the platform here as you can see there's a huge gap between the coach and the platform edge as we have seen earlier we have covered various perspectives which we will now look at more systematically comfort it is not comfortable for people of different physical builds and ages to on board and deboard the train safety it is not safe for passengers to on board and deboard the train and have the risk of falling into the gap geometric different types of platforms can accommodate different heights and widths of the gaps geographic we also need to account for the geographical location of the station to look at different terrains and different climates which can cause chemical and physical changes in the tracks hence changing the gap dimensions historical modifying or renovating the standardized designs by the british when the indian railways originally started equipment compatibility and deterioration which include railwear wheelwear condition of the rail car suspension and the different passenger loads our main customer is the indian railways and by proxy the ministry of railways of india the different stakeholders in this are again briefly summed up from what we have talked about earlier the indian railways senior citizens who struggle on boarding and deboarding the train differently abled people who obviously will also struggle to on board and deboard the train young children who have a higher risk of falling into the gap pregnant women and passengers with heavy luggage the main takeaways from this problem are the gap is extremely dangerous especially when on boarding and deboarding when the platform is very crowded differently abled people senior citizens and young kids struggle to on board and deboard the trains especially when it is crowded now with the added strain of having to carry lots of luggage being in a hurry to catch a train and in a crowded platform with these factors coupled together it makes the gap more prone to accidents which can end up being fatal on the left are few of the main headlines related to our problem from this we can conclude that this is a major problem not only in remote areas but also in major metropolitan giants like mumbai hyderabad and chennai in 2016 the bombay high court also criticized the indian railways for not raising the platform height and thus fill in the dangerous gap between the edges of the platform and the footboard of local trains 
because of accidents that took place routinely and due to passengers who lost their lives and their limbs after all these takeaways we can firmly conclude that this is a problem that needs to be addressed as soon as possible to prevent more such accidents from taking place